In our last step, we completed the assembly of the eBay and motor mount. Um, so now we're going to go ahead and start assembling the rest of the rocket. We're going to start with the nose cone and we're going to separate the, uh, the nose from the transition. So just go ahead and snap that off like that. Um, on the transition, we need to remove this back end uh, because this is going to be the front of the, uh, of the part and it's going to go into the bottom of the tube like that. So we're going to take a razor knife razor saw and we're just going to cut that off uh, following the groove that's uh, molded into the transition. Okay, like that. Um, then we're going to take our um, body tube and we're going to separate the body tube. Um, this is going to be the uh, bottom part of the upper stage um, and we'll separate that and we'll also take out the fin slots. Go ahead and remove those and cut this tube apart. So now on this, we want to um, sand out the uh, inside of this a little bit, also burnish down that edge. We want this to be a nice loose, loose fit. Um, and so I got some sandpaper here. take some thin CA glue and we're going to um, wick that into the fibers and we're going to re-sand. Uh, this is going to protect that back end. You only need to go up to the thin slots and then take a paper towel and wipe out any excess. It's going to cure pretty fast. I got too much in there. It came all the way to the front, but that's okay. Okay, it's kicking off. I can, I can feel it with my eyes. Um, and then we're going to re-sand it. We want to make this really nice and smooth so that transition slides in and out really easy. That's really nice, how nice and loose that is. Um, that's how we want it. All right. Okay, next we're going to, the upper part of the tube is used to correctly align the mount, motor mount and eBay in the fin can tube. Slide the upper tube onto the eBay and secure it in place with one of the removable rivets. So there is this hole right there. I think there's two holes on here. There's one there. There's two rivets that go in here. So and it goes over the top of that right there. I'm lining up that hole there. And you just take one of the rivets. Um, there's two parts of the rivet. There's the uh, the base section and then the little plunger and we can just use the base section and just put that in that hole push it in all the way that locks it in place um, and then slide the 
um, into the fin can and align everything so that there, the gap, there's going to be a small gap. Um, just because when we laser cut, we're actually removing some of the tube. So just make sure that there's an equal amount of gap all the way around. Like that. And then from this side, we're going to tack it by applying a small amount of thin CA to the aft centering ring. So you have their aft centering ring right there. And just go around it. Don't want to use too much. We just want to tack it in place. And I'm going to hit it with some accelerator. Just to lock it in place. Okay, once the adhesive hardens enough to hold the motor mount assembly in place, remove the rivet base and slide the upper tube off. So, Kind of pry that up. There we go. Just pry it up and pop it out. Slide that off. Then apply a thin bead of CEA to the joint between the fin tube can and the E base around the red coupler and allow the adhesive to harden. Okay, so we're just going to wick CEA all around that little edge right there. And this is what will hold it in place. If there's any excess, wipe it off. So once we put in the fins, the fins are going to be glued to the engine tube. Um, and that's what's going to really um, hold it in place. So don't worry about this right now. Um, being strong enough because it will be strong enough. Um, so, in fact, um, our next step is to get the fins ready. So I'm going to pause here and in the next video we'll start uh, getting the fins ready, getting them sanded, and then start mounting them into this fin can like this.